Jack is six. Looking at him, you would never know he's being treated for leukemia. Although he's still receiving chemotherapy, Jack is now in remission, back at school and doing really well. Jack is phenomenal. That's the, the only thing I can say. I mean, I, I could never have imagined before, before this all happened to us what it would be like. But I have to say, I think he's, he's actually come through at the moment and he's just he's an, an inspiration, I think, to a lot of people. Thanks to the minimal residual disease, or MRD test, doctors were able to tailor Jack's treatment, giving him just what he needed, but sparing him some of the side effects of intensive chemotherapy. Leukemia is the most common form of cancer in children. Every week, 10 children in the UK are diagnosed with leukemia, a cancer of the blood. Most children with leukemia have a type called acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL. The MRD test is being used up and down the country, including here at Great Ormond Street Hospital for Sick Children. So in 1960, uh, when the charity started, then childhood ALL was an incurable disease. Now, 50 years later, um, the cure rates are over 90%. In the 60s, some patients could be cured with relatively gentle treatment by today's standards but all patients now receive much more intensive treatment and so what that means is that many of the patients that we're curing today until we developed MRD tests were probably getting slightly stronger treatment than they needed. Similarly we weren't able to tell which were the patients who had a high risk of the disease returning and what MRD has allowed us to do is to if you like separate those two groups. The only way to tell if children are responding to the drugs is to measure the number of leukemia cells in their blood after treatment. Bone marrow samples taken from children when they are first diagnosed are used to develop specific molecular markers for each child's leukemia. A bone marrow sample is taken after 28 days of treatment. These markers are used to assess how much of the disease remains in each child. As recently as 10 years ago, this was done by looking down a microscope but this is very unreliable. The MRD test is 100 times more sensitive than that. The, the group that the leukaemia research have uh, supported for the last uh, 12 to 15 years has always been involved in MRD analysis and has actually been responsible for some of the, the pioneering work in MRD. We're based in the Bristol Genetics Lab and uh, we're one of the four UK labs that is responsible for measuring MRD. We've taken the test from very much a research standpoint to now where it's, it's part of the clinical decision making for all of the children in the UK who have childhood ALL. Here in Bristol we will see about 30 new samples every week. When leukaemia is suspected we get sent a diagnostic sample uh, to confirm the diagnosis. Uh, we then process this sample and extract on average 100 million cells uh, from this sample. The first stage of the process is to separate the leukemic cells from the rest of the bone marrow sample. And the DNA in these cells is then used to identify the genetic fingerprint that is used for the MRD test. The genetic fingerprint is important because that's what we use as the, the MRD marker and each patient's leukaemia has its own unique genetic fingerprint and that's what we need to decode. Clinicians will send us a new bone marrow sample on each child after 28 days of therapy and with this machine which is like a molecular photocopier we then quantify the amount of residual disease that is present in each patient. The results of the test show how well the child has responded to treatment. Using sophisticated machinery, scientists are able to see how much disease is left after treatment. The MRD results are expressed as a graph. And if we look at this first patient, this is a patient that we would call high risk. And if you look at the, the curves, the one on the left shows the amplification of the genetic material at diagnosis and shown to the right of that other curves that are taken from a sample at day 28 and we can still see that the, there is lots of amplification of the genetic material. By contrast if you look at a patient who we call low risk again on the left hand side we have the curves that are taken at diagnosis 
And if we look to the right of that, there is no amplified genetic material, so no MRD present. The centres turn the results round really quickly so doctors can select the best treatment for the child. If at the end of the first month of treatment the MRD level is low or negative, then most of those children will be cured, probably more than 95%, and that's the group of children that we and others are beginning to be able to show can have their treatment reduced. When you're treating children, the most important thing is to do as little harm as possible. Chemotherapy does have side effects, and those are both in the short term and just as importantly in the long term. So anything that allows us to get the same cure rates but reduce the toxicity of our treatment has to be a good thing. The particular side effects that we're concerned about are on the heart, on the pumping function of the heart, and also on things like growth and in the longer term on just general development of a child into an adult. The MRD test has been so successful that it has been adopted by the NHS as standard treatment for all children with ALL. The MRD scientists are now working with doctors and nurses at centres across Europe to ensure that as many children as possible benefit from this test. The ultimate goal for us of course is to cure every child with ALL. There are still a very small number who either don't respond to the treatment or more commonly respond and then the disease comes back. What we're doing now is using MRD combined with our other understanding of the biology of leukaemia to find out who those children are to start to try and develop new treatments for them. We're currently investing more than £12 million into research into childhood leukaemia thanks to the generosity of the British public. Our main focus is to find earlier diagnoses of leukaemia to target treatments better and to save more lives. The MRD project is a key example of this. We'll be eternally grateful for the work carried out by Leukaemia Research. Without the research they've done into leukaemia and the MRD test, we don't know if Jack would even be with us here today. Thankfully he is and the MRD test showed him to be low risk so he only had to receive the minimum amount of treatment necessary to put him into remission. Is there anything you want to say? <laughs>